So guys, um, Jason got us a little care package from Arkin Optics. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Arkin. They're a, uh, a new, relatively new optics company, veteran owned um, out of the United States. It's got some really cool products coming up. Um, I've been hearing about them for a while. I actually thought about getting them for my last optic. Um, I didn't, but we got to talking to these guys and they're very supportive of what we're doing. And uh, so we're gonna give them the same feedback. Side note, uh, if you like what you see here, you can get them at Cypress Creek and Dyersburg for those in West Tennessee. If you're watching this from wherever, you can Google it, find it wherever, and uh, go from there. So let's open up, see what we got here. Jason got us uh, a pretty cool little care package here. Here. Um, couple cool t shirts. If you haven't seen them, Arkin Optics. A um, couple more t shirts. Um, cool thing is, they make their own rings as well. So, one of the uh, scopes that they sent us to try, uh, we're going to be doing a full review on these as well. Um, one of the scopes they sent us is a 34 millimeter tube. It's a pretty, pretty big tube. Um, so they sent us the uh, the rings to go with it. Um, they sent us a uh, a pretty cool little starter kit. They call it. It's got some pretty neat stuff with it. Um, you know, they don't see it on their website. Yeah, this is a pretty. Cool, comes with a patch, um, a throw lever for the scope, uh, and then a. Uh, bubble level so you can uh, so you can get it going and then a, a battery for it and then they also sent us uh, some flip caps for both of them front and rear so uh, pretty cool and then they sent us some uh, I guess just a little uh, pouch to hold your stuff in not real sure Let's get out of the business and look at these scopes. Yeah, so here's the here's the, the main stuff here. They get some of these, right? Yes, there's the other okay. one right there. Alright, so here we've got the uh, Arkin. Hopefully we'll pick this up in one of the cameras. EPL-4 model. This one is a 4x16x44. By by um, the cool thing about these is they have a uh, Lifetime warranty on them, so very cool. You get right off the, uh, right out of the gate. And I think this is the one I want to try. Gotcha. It's uh, also fully transferable. Yeah, and the warranty's transferable too. It says. Yeah. So this is a more of a short frame scope. Not a lot of weight to it. They send you the, uh, the sunshade for it. Uh, but one of the cool things, and I can tell you, I'm terrible at this, that I'm excited about, is uh, we get. Locking turrets with this one. Um, I, it's 18 inches, uh, one pound, I think is what it says. I can't remember. That's correct on that one. So you got locking turrets on it. So I know I'm always messing mine up for sure. So this is a 4 by 16 Got to put that throw lever on there. She's a little tight right now until we get it broke in. Right. Uh, we're hearing the glass on these are really great as well. And then let's put this one away. And now we got the big boy. This is the SH-4J Gen 2. This is the one I see the most uh, hype about, or the SH line, the most hype about this one on the internet I've been looking up. Um, same thing with the warranty obviously. This is a 6 by 24 by 50 first focal plane uh, scope. I may have to steal this one. I don't know. I, don't, I might want both of them. Um, but this dude now, this is this is a sniper scope right here for sure. Uh, it's, it's a monster of a scope. Got a lot of weight to it. So if you're looking for long range at a great price, that's the cool thing about them and their glass. So if you want 
you know, to start some long range shooting. You know, for us, we're just we're just hunting coyotes. So uh, that's what we're looking. But it, it actually has a pretty decent short frame, but it is heavy. Yeah. That's what I like about them, the short frame on them. Yeah, but now on the AR, really nice. Let me grab that other one. But this does have a 34 millimeter tube on it, so you're talking about a uh, a little bit larger tube than we're used to. Let's check out the size difference here. So you can tell. Hopefully you can pick that up in both cameras there. I mean, this is just a, a, a bigger version. But they're, one thing we didn't mention, they're both illuminated, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. what the batteries are for. This Joker is, uh, yeah, I was wrong on the pounds. This one, I think, is about 36 ounces, if I remember correctly. So it's, it's got some weight to it. It's not bad, though, once you put it on your, uh, put it on your gun. But yeah, so we've got these two new, um, you know, scopes that we're going to be trying out. Uh, we're going to have to play paper, rock, scissors. I don't like a heavy scope, so I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Uh, anxious to get it out in the field, see what happens. But uh, this SH model, for sure, I've been hearing great things. Competition shooters use them. Um, you get the sunshade with it as well. So, uh, you know, Jason has been talking to Josh. Yes. Josh at Arkin. So, uh, Josh, we appreciate it. If you see this video, uh, we hope to get a you know a decent review. Get it out in the field as soon as we can get it on our scopes. Get it dialed in, and uh, show it. You know, show everybody what they can do. So, again, Josh Arkin, thank you for sending us those to try. We really appreciate it. We're gonna get these on our guns and uh, get them going real soon. Anything to add? That's it. Appreciate everything y'all have done. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Hey, what's up, guys? So uh, we, uh, we're sighting in the Arkin scope today. Jason and I did some swapping. Um, I'm actually gonna be shooting the uh, six by 24 by 50. Um, so we've got a target set up here at 25 yards. We're gonna see if we can get on paper um, and then stretch it out. And then hopefully the next video will be, uh, will be us you know, taking a, taking a coyote with it so Jason's probably gonna get his sighted in this weekend um, we, we decided to go with the 6x24 because I'm using a bolt gun to mount it the, uh, the the rings are a little bit better for what I'm doing um, the 4x16 came with the counter lever uh, mount and that's a little bit better for Jason so because he's running on his AR so let's see what we can do guys we're out here with Jason and John Cade the superstar we're dialing in the Arkin scopes and uh, Jason's Saturn barrel that he just got in a little while ago finally got it put on the gun so uh, we've already taken I think he's three shots four shots third shot third shot it's zeroed in um, Saturn barrel and six millimeter arc seems to be shooting really well so uh, we're gonna give it a few more shots and go from there. 